Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to install this solar panel on my hood. And anyone that follows me knows that I've had a solar panel on my hood for about a year and a half now, maybe two years. This flexible one that failed about three or four months ago. And it was never a great solar panel anyway. I don't think that it charged very good. And, um, you know, I had it slightly flexed because you can see that there's about an inch of flex on each side of the hood. And that's why I bought a flexible solar panel. But they say that you're not supposed to flex it. <laughs> and to me, and most people that have any common sense, that's just a duh. And so anyways, um, we'll just make brackets. We'll make six brackets and use the same six holes that I already drilled before. And we'll make those brackets out of this galvanized steel. And it will be a custom jobber and it will work great. So join me. Okay, this is my first bracket. And this bracket sits flush with the hood with a nice piece of rubber underneath it. And then on the bottom, it's got rubber and then a steel washer and then a lot nut. Nylon knot, lot nut so it won't come undone. Okay, now we're gonna create the exact same thing right here so that that solar panel can sit right in between the two flush. Now I've made a li little alignment marks and there and also on the hood. Okay. Okay, there's the top mount, center mount, finished. So now we've got two of them done. It's not affixed here yet, just onto the hood. It's hard to get these started. Without a little file, it would help. Okay, so this came out perfect except one thing. You'll notice that this side is too high. So I need to grind it on an angle. Okay, there's my first corner one. And if you're wondering why the screw is so tight to the corner, it's because I want to use the same screw holes and that's where they're at. I mean, that's where the, the holes that are already drilled in the hood are at. They're tight. But it's all right. It's going to work out. Not quite 90. Okay, so it's taken me a couple of times to get the right angle, just right. But watch this. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so first I have to make a mark. so that I can drill the hole without it wandering. Uh, now I'm going to 
finish it up being held with a vise. Uh, so I got my brace, my bolt, my rubber washer, my steel washer. Oh, and I still have to drill a hole in this for the base. Okay, so it's just a little bit too tight and so what I'm going to have to do is pull the hole out just a little bit. I've got to take a file. I've got this round file. Here. Got this round file and I'm gonna have to file the hole out just a little bit. Okay. This thing is so snug, even though it's not drilled or and affixed at all, it's so snug I could probably drive down the road and not even lose it, even though only four braces are on. Okay, I got all six brackets bolted down to the hood. In the previous holes that were used for the old solar panel. That's kind of the hardest part of this job, really. Now it's pretty much cake from here on out. But I want to make sure that everything is even. Okay, other than plugging the wires in, it is done. Check it out. Bolts, stainless steel bolts, everything stainless steel or galvanized. Stainless steel bolts with washers, rubber washers and washers. And then the rubber on the bottom, of course. And then on the bottom, a big fender washer provides lots of uh, area support with a rubber washer underneath it and a nylon nut nylon nut on there okay so six of those oh that's right I've still got to secure I've still got to secure see these holes here are, are for securing these wires and I use zip ties, so that's next. Okay, there's the zip ties holding that down nicely. And when I close the hood, we're all good. This works exactly the same as it did before. I put this on there, this piece of foam that was in the box for this, on my windshield to protect it in case I screwed up. It's a brand new windshield. Okay, I've got just like a little bit of sun left, but the, uh, the meter is already showing that I have daylight. It's not showing any charge because I'm in the shade. And thank God I'm in the shade. See, someday people will just all have their houses in the shade. The little house shed thing that I'm going to build is going to be under this big maple tree right there. And it's going to be fantastically wonderful. It's going to get morning sun from this side. But as soon as it gets to be about 10 o'clock, shade for most or all the rest of the day. Okay, let's go try it out. Okay, that's about as much sun as I can get on that. The sun is going down. Let's see what it's putting in. Look at that. Two amps. Even with the sun clear over there, the new panel is still putting in to the battery, two amps. That is excellent. In the middle of the day, it's gonna rock.
That's awesome. So that's one of the cool things about having a solar panel on your hood. You can turn your car in whatever direction you want and you can raise your hood at about, well, that's more than 45 degrees. Maybe it's, it's pretty close to 45 degrees. With my, uh, with my uh, car carrier on the top, I have to turn the car a little bit when the sun is clear over. And so I don't get quite as direct of an exposure. But, you know. Anyways, so that is the project and that sucker is rock solid. That is rock solid to the hood. That ain't going anywhere. There'll be bugs stuck on the front of it, but... Now the tops of these are um, hardened glass, whatever you call it, that really super hard glass. So they're really durable and lots of people put them on top of their vehicles. I think I just need to close the, the hood a little bit easier than I normally would. Got to make sure I got all the screws. I lost a couple of washers. Hopefully they don't cause any kind of a trouble. They probably just fell to the ground. Alright everybody, so thanks so much for joining me.